Today we are going to make the professional plane. So anyways, let's get started. So basically you will need a piece of paper, a normal eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. And without further ado, we'll get started. Okay, so the first step is to take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge. I like to turn mine sideways and do it. So that way, like, it's easier for me. But you can do it anyway. This just feels more comfortable to me, so I'm doing it this way. It's still the same step, as you can see. So either way you did it, you should have a little booklet here. And then we will take this top corner and we will... Fold it down to the bottom, the, our new bottom here. And then we will keep it on the same side actually. And then we will fold this top corner here and we will fold that down. Or, I'm sorry, we'll take this side corner and we will fold it down to the bottom so our plane looks like this. Has a little flap here. And that will be important a little earlier. So then we're going to turn it upside down. It should look like this. So now we're going to take this top corner and fold it down to meet this bottom point right here. So there's the where it meets. We're gonna do the same thing with this side here. And once they both meet, you can crease hard. You should have a bunch of thick layers in there. We'll get rid of that. Slowly. So now we're gonna unfold these, and then you should have this little thing sticking up. If you do, you are at where I am. So the next step is to take this side corner and fold it down to this crease we just made. Once we do that, we'll want to do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to take this side over here and fold it down to our crease we just made. Now once we do that, we're going to take these two whole flaps and fold it back over that same crease. So it should look like this now. Now the next step is to, we're gonna basically lock up the plane here. So once we lock up our plane, which will happen just like this, we'll take this bottom little triangle here, this little bottom triangle, and we're gonna fold that to the top, which locks all of our layers, meaning they won't be sticking out or anything. So yeah. Um, the next step is to basically fold it in half, like this. And we want to make sure our edges are lining up. As you can see right now, my edges aren't fully lining up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that by simply making sure everything is symmetrical. As you can see, it's symmetrical all the way down until this point where it starts slacking off. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the adjustments by simply lining up these edges and then creasing down here. Now, 
we want to flip it over to have this end up. And then we'll want to make our wings. So then we'll fold it in half. And then this time, we're going to have to crease a little harder and line up our point up here. Okay. So the next step is to fold it the wings. And so basically we'll want like uh to be pr as precise as possible with the wings. We want a little big proportion here. So basically we'll go through we'll intersect through this little imaginary line that I have made which goes through the lock, the smallest triangle you can make of the lock and intersects all the way through the back of the plane. So let's try folding that. And we're gonna fold it down sideways. So we're not gonna line it up with the base or anything. Okay, so there's our first wing right there. As you can see. Now our second wing. And then we're gonna fold this down. Once again, sorry for the background noise. We're going to fold this down so that it lines up. Remember, we want it to line up with our first wing. So like, if we fold our first wing incorrectly and our second wing correctly, it won't fly well. But if you fold them both incorrect, it'll fly better than one incorrect and one not correct. So, yeah. This is not the full petrol plane yet. We thought the video was gonna end here. So anyway, we're gonna have to make some pinky wood fins. So as you can see, I'm going to line up my pinky and I'm just gonna draw a line or if you don't need a line, which I don't, but like I'm gonna basically imagine a line there and I'm going to crease over that and make sure my back edge is lining up with the back edge. So this edge is lining up with this edge. So the same edges are lining up basically. And then I'll flip it over. I'll line this up. And boom, there you have it. Our plane is complete and ready to fly. I'll show you how it flies in this video too, which is coming right up. So before I see, tell you the flight tutorial, I want to tell you how to fly it. So flying a professional. Good, solid, straight ahead throws are the professional's fuel of choice but increase the elevators on the back edge and aim for the sky. You'll get a big arcing loops and corkscrews. If you want a slower glide, flatten out the fins. For dart-like flights, flatten the, out the elevators and make sure fins stick straight up. So I'm gonna make another video on how to make elevators. And you can put elevators to this. Um, and so, yeah. Putting elevators are normally at the back of the wings. And, um, yeah, that's where you will want to put your elevators. So, yeah, this is the plane. And I'll show you how it flies before I have to say goodbye.